Hello and welcome to Infinity. Before we go any further, I just want to stop and go through some stuff about colour. It's not going to be super detailed stuff, it's just going to be some basics because the things we're going to need to do next will use some of this. So it helps to think about colour. Anyway, so here we've got black. I'm just going to drag this control over here like this so we can just see what exactly is happening. Every pixel, every point on the image is made up of three little dots. One is red, one green, one blue. It used to be in the old television sets, you could stick your nose against the screen and you could see those dots, but now the dots are so small you can't see them, which is probably good because you get high resolution images. But if we start changing those, we need to think about what's happening in relation to these. So if I turn up the red, it gets more and more and more red. I notice it goes from naught all the way up to a rather odd number, which is 255. And why 255? Basically, it's simply because it's the computer and computers think in numbers like that. It's what's called 8 bits. Well, you hear the term it, but you don't need to understand what the computer's doing. All you need to know is that when you see 8 bit, it means that each of red, green, and blue can have any value between 0 and 255. And effectively, it's like three torches turning up the, the brightness of them. So when you come to them all up white, that's bright. And when you bring them down, things get darker. In fact, when you've got three colours near the top, you've got a bright colour. And when you've got three colours down near the bottom, you've got a darker colour. Also, if you bring one colour up, one colour down, and one in the middle, you get yourself a very bright colour, like that. So the other thing is that if I bring those all down here and I can move those together, if I bring those up together, what you're seeing is it's all shades of grey. And then if I move them apart, they get less grey. And the further apart is they become more and more colourful. And so we tend to treat these differently. We tend to, it, it, when you've got the greys, those are called tones. And when you've got the colours, they're called colours. And we often work on them differently. So tones and colours are often two separate steps in editing a picture. You think, let's improve the tones. We often do those first and often then the colours. That's partly because it's the way the eye works, that in our eyes we've got two different types of cell there. One called rods, which looks at the black and white only, and the other one called cones, which looks at the colour. And so that affects the way that we see things. Let's just have a look at this over here. And what we can do with this is with a colour display thing, which is up here usually, that little pipette thing there, if I drag this out over the image, if first of all it's a magnifying glass, but also if you see there, see it, it is R, G and B, and it's giving those values. So R208, G222, B235, all quite high, which means they're also going to be a bright colour and this is going to be near white, which we, as we see there. Or something over here, for example, here the pixel, there you've got um, the more middling. And if you go down to a darker area, they've got lower values. And thinking about what's happening to those is useful and worth thinking about as we're doing photo editing. So you can call it like RGB thinking, but if we can understand that, it can help us to produce better pictures. That's it. Hope you enjoyed that and it wasn't too boring, but it's going to be useful. Thank you very much for watching.